Who have we got to do? Oh, fuck's sake. It's clear that most people in our society don't even know what sexual harassment means. Oh my fuck! Yes, clearly, Zana. Clearly. Fucking hell, I'm not even 10 seconds in yet and I'm already fucking livid. I'll tell you what, we're going to save that bit and we're going to come back to it. So I'm going to tell you how to recognise it in my situation. If you need to tell people why it was sexual harassment, Zana, it was not sexual harassment. In the deep hope that our sisters and queer and trans siblings might have a chance in this world. Despite what you're trying to tell them, they do have a chance. They have a bloody good chance. They've got a better chance than anyone else. There has never been a better time to be a woman in this world. And who made you queen of the fucking trans people? I'm going to tell you what I've learned from living on this earth for over 30 years. 30 years? Oh, and the rest. I'll give you at least 40, and for 20 of those, you've had your head in the fucking clouds. So listen up. Because these voices are the voices of your sisters, your daughters, your friends, your mothers, and your grandmothers. Are they though, Zana? Or is it just your voice? Because if every woman thought the same as you, then the human race would be fucked. Men don't get to decide what sexual harassment is. Hooray! Look who it is! This bearded man with rapey voice! Thing is, women don't get to decide what it means either. It is a legal term. There's no reclaiming it. You can't fuck about with it. Any more than white people get to decide what racism is. See my previous point, bearded man with rapey voice, and thank you for answering the question, does wisdom really come with age? Because patriarchy and racism are systems of power. Men and white people profit from those systems of power, even if they don't know they're perpetuating them. Then where is my fucking profit? I am broke. I don't even have a computer decent enough to run anything but Windows fucking Movie Maker. Where's my profit, bearded man with rapey voice? If I check my bank balance now, am I going to see a backlog of payments from the patriarchy, or am I going to cry as usual? Sure. Our system is designed to keep women oppressed. Oh, oh, you've just caught me reading a book. Well, the white patriarchy can't be keeping you down that bad if you've learned how to fucking read. But using freedom of speech... Is your excuse to say vile things to women makes you a coward? Oh, 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 and let me guess, it is also sexual harassment. And it's also sexual harassment. Hooray! Going beyond any woman's boundaries is sexual harassment. Yes, if there was something inherently sexual about it. Otherwise, it's just boring old run-of-the-mill harassment. And even then, if you've been asked to stop and you continue to do it. Getting your friends to bully her, harass her, stalk her because she won't respond to you in a consenting way, that's sexual harassment. Yeah, again, if there was something sexual about it. If you keep repeating the white man, I'm just going to skip through your bits. Commenting on how a woman looks when you don't know her and she's not your partner and you don't have her consent sexual harassment. If I walk up to a fuck ugly bitch and say, oi bitch, you're fuck ugly, that is not sexual harassment. It's being a bit of a dick, but it is not sexual harassment. Wolf whistling, cat calling. Holy shit, it's Napoleon Dynamite. And Eve teasing, that's sexual harassment. Grass jokes and innuendos, sexual harassment. But what if they're really, really funny? If you wouldn't say it at the workplace, it's sexual harassment. And if you're not at work and say it, it's still sexual harassment. Just because Zana doesn't like something doesn't automatically make it sexual harassment. And why the fuck are you sat in your car? If it's to hide your blatant erection, that's sexual harassment. He says no when you ask her out on a date. That means no. If you continue to ask her, that's sexual harassment. That's not even harassment. That's persistence. If you asked her with your dick out, yeah, that would be different. If you ask a woman out and she says no, and you keep contacting her, emailing her, following her online, calling her, that is stalking, and it's sexual harassment. No, you fucktard, it's stalking. You just said it, and even then I'm being fucking generous. If you say something to a woman and she doesn't like it, and you still say it, that's sexual harassment. How the hell is telling my sister she looks like a whore in that wedding dress sexual harassment? If you say something to a woman and she tells you you're sexually harassing her, and then you go find her email and email her multiple times and ask her to go to lunch with you, that's called stalking and it's sexual harassment. You would have thought the man with the rapey voice would at least get the definition of stalking correct, wouldn't you? If we have to use mental acrobatics to justify abusive behavior, like saying that was just a dad joke, or a that is sexual harassment. And by the same token, if you have to make a four-part series on YouTube about why something was sexual harassment, it wasn't sexual harassment. 
If you have to make a long-winded explanation about how your harmless joke was not sexual harassment, it's sexual harassment. Fucking hell, Napoleon Dynamite, you've not even hit puberty yet. I can see you giggling inside every time you say the word sexual. You wouldn't say to your daughter or mother, it's sexual harassment. There are some men who would say it to their daughter. That's called grooming. If you see that, reach out to the daughter and ask if she's okay. It is likely her father is abusive and that he's teaching her that rape culture is okay. No, mate, he's probably molesting her. Now, I'm not defending that, I'm just saying there's no educational aspect to it. And I don't think you quite realise what you said was if I call a woman a cunt, and I wouldn't say that to my mother or my daughter, that makes me a paedophile. Which is just not the case. It was fucking that little boy that made me a paedophile. Lying about what really happened in a sexual harassment case, like saying that she started it, or asked for it, or wanted it, is rape culture. Zana, the amount you go on about rape can mean one of two things. Number one, you love shitting all over the actual victims of it with your own non-experiences. Or number two, you fucking love rape. Saying that boys will be boys is rape culture. You know, people only say boys will be boys when they kick a football through someone's living room window, not when they forcibly stick their dick into another person. Rape is bad, even rapists know that. Believing that men are not capable of controlling ourselves? is rape culture. Well then fuck me, I'm about to indulge in some rape culture cause I'm losing it here, boy! Saying that a woman defending herself against sexual harassment makes you uncomfortable is rape culture. Who the fuck are you? You can't just wander in here halfway through my video, fuck off! If it's not consent culture, it's rape culture. Only Sith deal in absolutes. And feminists. Only Sith and feminists deal in absolutes. Thinking that a woman should just shrug off being sexually harassed because it's not what women normally go through, or it's not what they used to go through in the past, that is rape culture. Is it bollocks? Real sexual harassment goes through the judicial system. Does anyone remember seeing Zana in court? Because all I can remember is her begging for money. Threatening a woman with rape or violence because she dared to speak up about sexual harassment? is rape culture and sexual violence. Zana, you dumb fuck, this is why you didn't last 10 fucking minutes on the internet. Calling a woman crazy when she screams about sexual harassment, that's rape culture, that's patriarchy. Mate, you weren't even here for the first video, shut the fuck up. If you knew what happened, you wouldn't be fucking saying this shit. No woman is obligated to make you feel comfortable after she's been sexually harassed. So then let's make a video about a woman who was actually sexually harassed. Maybe you get out your car for that one. Thinking that the man who has power is more likely to be telling the truth than the woman who has no power is patriarchy. How has the man got more power when all the woman has to do is say the words sexual harassment? But no, no, I'm with you. This innocent until proven guilty bullshit is fucked up. Oh, you don't have the right to expect women to be nice to you. Expecting all women to be nice to you is patriarchy. Okay, so what's it called when someone lies about being sexually harassed for the sole purpose of getting donations for their apparent safety and well-being? No? There's no word for that yet? No? Oh, maybe that's what rape culture is. When you see a woman subjected to sexual violence, the way Zarna has been subjected to sexual violence in the form of sexual harassment... Pick a fucking word, rapey voice! Cyberstalking, slander, hate messages, rape threats, death threats, and you don't do anything to help her or to stop it, that's rape culture. So, donate money to Zana, otherwise rape culture, yeah? Fuck off. That's patriarchy, and you're enabling it. Are we really using the word enabling here, rapey voice? Because that is exactly what you are doing with Zana, and I'm pretty sure she is mentally challenged, so that's worse. Notice how I only brought men to give this message? That's because you're patriarchal, and you won't listen any other way. Oh no, that's a great way to get people to donate to your calls, isn't it? Call them names. Fucking fantastic marketing. If you're a man, use your privilege to educate others about patriarchy, but always be humble before the voices of those who are oppressed. You followed their lead. I ain't doing your dirty work for you, you lazy cunt. Do it your fucking self. If you're a woman, a queer or transgender person, and or a person of colour, Know that the way you are abused is not your fault. 
No, apparently it's the fault of the men whose help you just asked for. Fucking brilliant marketing, Zana. Sign me up. Fucking hell. You didn't do anything to deserve it. You were simply born into a body the patriarchy despises. You were born into a body that is objectified and commodified so that those in power can keep their power. Those guys behind you look so fucking bored, Zana. I don't think you're paying them enough. Come on, wrap it up. We've all got homes to go to. Unless you're going to count me entering my front door as the rape of a building. So we will bring this system down by refusing to be quiet. We will refuse to be quiet about sexual harassment, assault, rape and violence. Refuse to be quiet? You did four videos on this and then your funding page got taken down so you fucked off. Together with our male allies, we will defeat this oppression. That's how we will smash patriarchy. You ain't smashing shit, Zana. You used all the buzzwords in your arsenal and you couldn't even raise a thousand dollars, you fucktard. And that's not rhetoric. I'm going to tell you all about it. So smug. So fucking smug. So fucking smug. Now let me ask you, is that the face of someone who was sexually harassed? It's not, is it? It is really not- that is the face of someone who is getting paid, boy! Now let's go back to that clip at the beginning. It's clear that most people in our society don't even know what sexual harassment means. I can honestly say that is the most accurate statement I have heard come out of your head and you have demonstrated it beautifully. Until next time, Zana, I hope you don't fall on a fucking spike or anything. And for all you potential rapists out there, by that I mean men, remember, complimenting without consent is rape of the ears.